time, every time I open my mouth, I sound like I'm announcing a baseball game. <laughs> and everywhere I go, people like to make comments about my voice, even if I don't want them to. Now, usually, I don't want them to. But people tell me anyway. Here are some actual things people have told me I sound like. An infomercial announcer, a radio DJ, the voice that says, your call is very important. <laughs> Please stay in the line. A very friendly robot. And finally, the voice at Disneyland that says, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride vehicle at all times. Buenos dias, por favor, mangas sus manos, brazos, I don't even speak Spanish. <laughs> and a lot of people don't think my voice sounds real. People think my voice sounds fake, that I don't even sound like a real person. And I know this because of experiences I have with the job I used to do. So I used to work a tech support on the phone for Apple. This is, this is true. I, I worked down in Elk Grove. They have a big call center down there. And people would call up. I'd answer the phone. Thank you for calling Apple. How can we help you today? And a number of times when I would answer, I could hear people pushing numbers on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get to a you know, human operator. Thought I was an automated system. Other times, people would call up, I'd answer the phone, thank you for calling Apple, how can we help you today? And people would start saying things like, tech support, <laughs> operator, transfer to operator, this thing's not working. I remember one time, a guy calls up, I answer the phone, thank you for calling Apple, how can we help you today? And I could hear him say to like his wife in the background, like, oh great, I got the automated system. And that's when I said, I am not an automated system, I am alive. <laughs> he hung up. <laughs> I think I scared him. I think he thought the automated system had become self-aware. <laughs> like he wanted nothing to do with that nonsense. You know what I should have done, like, just to mess with them? Like, I should have called him back. <laughs> like, if you weren't tech support, we see a bunch of your information right on the screen. Like, I could have called him back and been like, hello, Stephen Jenkins, who lives at 431 Northland Avenue. Why do you not think I am human? <laughs> probably, probably would have freaked him out a little bit. You know, even my friends like to make comments about my voice. Uh, apparently, I sound incredibly white. <laughs> I know this because I have a number of black friends who have told me that. My buddy Reggie recently told me that I sound so white that I sound like a black comedian doing an impersonation of a white guy. Probably right. A great white robot. You know, this voice, it has been difficult over the years, uh, talking to the ladies. Um, I have a girlfriend now. <laughs> Uh, but it was tough talking to ladies with this voice, because let's be honest, ladies, this is not an attractive voice. You weren't supposed to agree with me. <laughs> now I'm sad, no. But like, I can't do pickup lines with this voice. Can you imagine me doing pickup lines with this voice to be like, hey girl, you looking all kinds of good. I think we need to call the fire department because you are smoking hot. <laughs> Are we near an airport because my heart just took off? What if the rest of the set was just me doing pickup lines? 